If you're considering Airtable as a possible solution for your business, one of the biggest questions you need to answer is, what's it gonna cost me? What's the price of Airtable? So this video is gonna be going into detail about exactly that thing, but make sure you stay tuned until the end where I'm gonna share with you a special calculator that we built that's going to automatically calculate what tier you belong on and also tell you if you apply for any, or if you are eligible for any discounts and what your all-in cost is gonna be. But without further ado, let's get on into it. All right, so the best place to get information about Airtable pricing is, conveniently enough, airtable.com slash pricing. Uh, they have built here a four tier system that we're gonna take a look at. So uh, you see that they've got a free version, a plus, a pro, and the enterprise level. Now, uh, full disclosure, this video is not going to go into detail on the enterprise level. If you want information about the enterprise level, uh, this is something you'll need to contact Airtable directly to get information on. And uh, anecdotally, now I don't know this personally, but I've heard uh, through the grapevine that this carries a price tag of a couple thousand dollars uh, every month. Uh, and it's definitely set up for the bigger you know, enterprise client. The majority of small to medium businesses and personal users that I'm aware of are on, at maximum, the pro plan. So that's what we're going to be talking about here is free plus and pro. All right, so the big differences are here in the uh, top four uh, areas. As you see, bases are unlimited, so you can have an unlimited number of bases regardless of the plan that you're on. Also, uh, going into the records per base, you'll see that there is a, a different threshold depending on how much you're paying. So one of the big questions you need to ask yourself is, how many records do I need to store uh, in my largest base. And if the answer is over 1,200, then that's gonna kick you up into the plus tier. And if it's more than 5,000, it's gonna kick you into the pro tier, right? Similarly, uh, ask yourself the question about attachment space per base. Uh, so you see that, and this has to do with the amount of storage space you have in the base when you have an attached, or you uh, attached a file into there. So if you're attaching a lot of uh, really uh, heavy duty files, you're going to require uh, you know, larger memory. And so uh, with that comes a higher tier. And then lastly, uh, if the revision and snapshot history matters to you, this is how long you have access to the snapshot and uh, revision data. So as changes are made in the base, uh, if you need to know that for a longer period of time, you'll want to get up to that pro version or something in between like the plus version. Now that's all great. But in all honesty, I think that the biggest, biggest uh, benefit to going to the uh, either the, well, not the plus, but I think the biggest benefit for the pro version is really in these advanced use cases. So you see here that only on the pro version do you unlock these advanced use cases. And so you're getting the blocks. And this is not to be overlooked. The blocks are super powerful ways to summarize your data. Also, you're looking at additional coloring and styling options. These are nice. Uh, they certainly make my bases look sexier, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know, I, I don't know that I'd pay more for that, but the blocks, 100% would, and just my personal opinion. Uh, also, the advanced calendar features, definitely worth, uh, you know, some extra money there. The custom branded forms are definitely nice as well. You can take off Airtable's logo, you can put on your own logo, and, uh, and really kind of gussy these up a little bit more. Personal and locked views are super important for a standard business use case. Locking views allows you to build some really cool integrations with Zapier and not worry that someone's gonna come in and break the setup of that view. That's really important to keep things from uh, bugging out. Also, uh, you know, you have your password and domain restricted shares, that's very useful. And uh, early access to new features, definitely something I've taken advantage of. Uh, you know, they, you can go through the beta testing and things like that as a pro user when they unlock new things and it's, it's really cool. So these advanced features are, in my opinion, the biggest push for why you'd want to be on Airtable's uh, pro plan. But if they don't apply to you, they don't apply to you. Uh, but just know that up front that you're going to miss out on some of the more advanced things that you get to do in Airtable. Uh, beyond that, you'll see that uh, many of the support things are offered uh, regardless of the tier plan that you're on. Uh, and you really don't unlock these you know, higher level tiers unless you're on that enterprise version, which again, it's not something we're talking about. So as I promised at the beginning of this video, we built an awesome calculator 
inside of Airtable. So imagine that. We're actually using the tools that we uh, promote <laughs> to, to understand and explain the pricing structure. So let's take a quick look, just really fast, at what that base looks like. So basically, you have different questions that you can uh, that you answer when you submit a form, and they go into this base. So the different answers, uh, you know, how many records you need, the attachment space, exactly the things we just spoke about, what advanced features you require, uh, and then if you apply for a discount or qualify for a discount, if you're a nonprofit or an education uh, institution or organization, you uh, may qualify for 50% off of your uh, Airtable monthly cost. And then also if you pay annually as opposed to monthly, there's an additional uh, or there's, there is also uh, some uh, discount that you may qualify for. Also, of course, how many users. And so Airtable will charge you per user. So that fee is uh, going to be applied to your account for every user that you've shared that base with uh, that is on the pro version. And, uh, and so here we've just built a very simple form. I'll take you to that form right here. And by going directly uh, to this form, you can then fill out these questions. And uh, we will tell you instantly, well, through Zapier automation, so it might take a, a few minutes, but we will tell you uh, what uh, tier, based on your answers, you would qualify for or, or we would recommend. And then we will also tell you, uh, you know, what your monthly and annual cost will be, any discounts you might qualify for. So it's all right here. So if you have any questions and you want just a really quick and easy answer, uh, definitely check out our estimate calculator. I will include uh, a note or a, a link for that in the description of this video. All right, as always, I hope you found that to be super helpful. If you did, be sure to click subscribe as we put out new content on a weekly basis to help you become more proficient in Airtable. And in the meantime, best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.